Now the stuff that I've got on the bench here is is kind of just jury rigged. It's it's not safe to use in in actual uh, in an actual situation. So please don't do it the way I did it if you buy one of these things. But I was impressed with the way this works, and it did exactly what I wanted it to. And I thought I'd just share it with you. If you have uh, a device that uh, periodically runs and you would like to know how many hours a day it runs or, or how many hours a week or whatever, uh, it, you can do that. Or you could even, with a little bit of, uh, of work, you might have to use some relays depending on how much uh, amperage your, your second device draws, but you could actually actuate a second device any time that the first device runs. So, anyway, I've made a little video of this and we'll take a look at it right now. I bought this little device because I had a pump that cycled on and off. I don't know how many times a day, but I did want to know how many hours a day, or for that matter, how many hours a week, uh, it actually ran. So I bought this current detector. I bought it from Amazon.ca. And it's the handiest little thing if you want to know how long something's running or if you want to control something else while something's running because it has a relay in it. Now what I've got attached to this little device, if we follow this cord around here, we can see that I've got it attached to a heater. So when the heater comes on, what's going to happen here is, and I'll move back over here, these two little poles will connect to each other. And that will give me continuity to run to this clock. So we'll just back the camera up for a little wider view here. What I'm going to do is I'll turn the heater on right now. You'll hear it come on. And when the heater comes on, there goes the heater and there goes the clock. So when the heater shuts off, the clock stops. So if this were to cycle 10 or 20 times, the clock would move. So anything within a 12 hour period would be recorded on this clock. If the clock were digital, you wouldn't have to limit that to a 12 hour period. You could go longer than that because you could have a 24 hour clock. So I'm gonna let you have a closer look at how this is, is wired up here. Here's the cord coming from the heater, and this is just a, a temporary thing. Uh, one, if I, could, if I could have gotten these two wires split, I could have put one of them through my device, but I didn't want to, to cut the cord to my heater, so I separated them and put them through to another piece of wire here that I have plugged in over there. Um, these connections here, which is the relay, now the relay is, joins these two poles together and that is going to connect me to my clock. In the back of the clock, I have it just temporarily rigged up here so that these two, the red and the black, are separated from each other until those two poles are connected and then the battery is allowed to run the, <laughs> run the clock. Okay, so I think maybe I've explained that enough and we'll put the uh, information for the little device, uh, the uh, URL to, uh, to view it on uh, Amazon for you.